We're talking with Linda Roberts, who's the manager of the Broken Hill Film Studio. And Linda, we're standing here in Studio B in Broken Hill. It's a fantastic area. Can you tell us about it, please? Um, well, it was a central power station which powered the north and south mines. Um, it was disused in 1986 and built in um, the 1950s. It's the fifth largest film studio in Australia. Um, and it's 2,230 metres squared. There is another film studio um, just behind you, which is 2,600 um, metres squared. And it's a great, um, a great investment for the community. So what's going to happen here down the track? Will people come in and, and film here? Or Basically, there was a business plan done, and the recommendations from the business plan is that it would be an artisan um, education heritage site, um, a, a big world-class experience, as well as a film studio. I mean, first and foremost, filmmakers come into town for locations, but um, if they need a space to store their props to shoot something interior indoors, they'll, they'll do it here. Okay, so if I'm a, a big Hollywood producer and a director, I've got my film crew, I come out here and I want to plug in, yeah. take my film and send it back home, what, what happens then? Well, that's the thing. We don't really have anything to plug into, yeah. um, and which is a shame really because it's such a fantastic space and a fantastic precinct. Um, a perfect example is of our casting agency um, just within the precinct and um, we had to pull lines from the exchange through because we didn't have any internet access or any phone lines, which is now being taped up by duct tape just outside. Um, so uh, they'd have to bring their own, perhaps, like a satellite system and, and totally go wireless, wireless because 50 people coming into town or, or 400 people into town hooking up to the internet at the same, same time might crash the system. So over here we've got Gerald Vandenhoevel, who's a man of a lot of experience in the IT industry. Gerald, you're now looking after the um, IT at the Broken Hill City Council. What do we need here? Well, we need a, um, a fast, reliable, secure internet connection. Yeah. Is this just so that we can all download movies, Gerald? No, no, it's so that we can um, uh, run our businesses successfully and, um, and um, communicate with the, the wider world. I mean, there's an expecta expectation now, um, anywhere you go, that you should be able to connect to the internet and um, unfortunately in Broken Hill, um, we're unable to do that in many places. There's a lot of black spots um, that, that require um, an upgrade so that we um, do have that internet access. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, um, at the moment, businesses, um, the council, the mines, whatever, they need to put in their own solutions to um, be able to um, at least use the internet to mm. um, some degree. Yeah. That's a lot of additional expense. Oh, very much so. So, uh, so are we currently in a third world IT world out here in Broken Hill? <laughs> Probably not quite third world, but, but certainly um, not far from it. Yeah. Yeah. Not far from yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So, Lindell, down the track, you can see this film studio being populated by many talented people. Yes. What does that look like? Um, well, there'll be a lot of people with a lot of computers, for starters, and um, just with social media um, being so worldwide, I suppose. Um, you know, people need internet access for their businesses. If they're going to come all the way from Sydney or New York or anywhere in the world, they want to be access their emails, they want to upload their videos, they want to edit here on site. Um, so these people are working, they're earning a living. That's right. They're earning money for the Australian yeah, economy. Yeah. And they're paying taxes. And they're paying taxes. Do they deserve the internet out here? They deserve it. Everyone deserves the internet. Um, you, can't, you can't work without the internet. I mean, you go into the office at work, if you don't have email access or internet access, you feel a bit, well, 90% of your work is on the internet. It's logging on, it's getting in, it's finding out information. So what will it mean to the film industry in Broken Hill if we have to wait, say, eight years for the broadband to be upgraded out here? Well, I think we'll fall behind. I think we'll lose a big opportunity, like lose big opportunities to have big things happen out here, and I think that would be a more a disgrace. A disgrace. <laughs> I yeah, do. Truly. Gerald, what do you think would happen on, from a technical perspective if this region, if Broken Hill, was to fall behind eight years and be last on the rollout list? What will it mean to the industry? 
Well, I, well, I think it's having a big um, impact already. Um, just trying to attract people to come and work in Broken Hill, for instance. Um, there's already the tyranny of distance, um, isolation and what have you. Um, if you're able to offer first-class internet facilities where people can communicate with their families, they can do business from here, um, it's attraction, an attraction and um, at the moment um, people are declining opportunities to come to Broken Hill simply because they don't have that access um, and that, it's an expected wherever they go now. Yeah. And we're, we're competing with other towns in, a similar, um, in similar circumstances um, who, who do have uh, internet access and um, I mean if you've got Town B that's got all of those facilities, you're probably going to go there rather than uh, Broken Hill. So we really do need it. Yeah. What about the education side of the film studio? So there's a precinct, uh, there's, there's the possibility here in the surrounding parts of this film studio for uh, learning, education, knowledge sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also engage our younger people in our community and that's get right. them into an industry. What are the possibilities there, Lyndall? Um, well, if, say, say the University of Technology in Sydney wants to come out and they want their students to film here and then they want their students to upload whatever they've shot, I suppose, um, or whatever they've edited together and um, shoot it back to Sydney, I mean, that would take a while if you want to, I don't know, say a 60, what, what would be the highest meg, you know, something, you know, say 100 meg, it would take a good day to get that up especially if it's all in high def. So, I mean, if to, if to have MBN here would be, um, well, it's just a, a, an extra thing that would be great for the film studio. Mm. Education is one thing. Then there's the tourism side of things. You've got potential to en engage community people as well as visitors to the region. And this could also bring income to the region and help promote local jobs. That's right. Well, like I, I was saying um, earlier, with um, journalists and people that come into town and, you know, blogging's a big, tw you know, Twitter and Facebook and um, people have got their own websites that they, you know, that everyone's talking on the internet. So it, it, tourism obviously is a big, big social media um, aspect. And, and you can't talk without a broadband connection. No, exactly. you can't. You what can't. about face to face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and go to each person around the world. Yeah. Face, so the, this film studio has the potential to, to take Broken Hill to the world, to take this region to the world, for the world to see another part of Australia that currently is quite unique. It, it, Broken Hill doesn't exist in any other part of Australia. That's right. So when do we need the NBN? We need it now. We need it now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Yeah. The sooner the better. Yeah.